COVID is such a complex issue and every nation is taking steps to protect its borders and their nation Kiribati is a small Pacific island that their government is obviously very concerned about keeping the COVID out so at the moment the seafarers are um, experiencing difficulty returning home pending the, the, the progress of the COVID vaccination program. They're accepting of the situation but from my perspective having been an ex-seafarer it must be very frustrating for them and very disappointing and sorrowful for their families back home. And they're being paid and, and uh, they're in generally good spirits. We take them from the seafarer centre, we take them out occasionally to get away from the hotel room, the hotel environment. But you know, it's not a long term solution. And I know that some of the people in the, in the mission, the seafarers, Maritime Safety Queensland, Maritime Safety Authority, they're working with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to see if they can resolve this situation as quickly as possible and get the seafarers back home where they belong. I think they took some pride in raising their flag on the vessel today because it's, it's the home spirit and, and when they sang the national anthem you could hear the spirit and their dedication to their nation in their voices. Some nations aren't treating seafarers in any way which we believe is acceptable. They are the victims here, they are not the bringer of the COVID. And we would hope that all around the world, all nations express sympathy for the seafarers and do everything they can to ease their plight. Unfortunately, some nations are taking a much harder line. They've got mobile phones and there's internet and we, and we provide internet access at the Seafarer Centre. Um, they're, they're quite well advanced, they are still seafarers, and, but it's just a frustration of being reasonably close to home yet so far away.